Today's video is a quick one. It's all about five media queries you can use in CSS that will make your users' lives much better. Big shout out to Yusef who recommended this topic. So let's talk about what we're doing here. So what we have on screen is a site that we've just quickly made. Um, the HTML and CSS is fairly basic. What we have is our usual stuff. We've got a header and a section. Section's just a grid with the kind of usual things in here. And we have some hover states in here as well. So fairly kind of basic stuff. So let's have a look at some of the CSS here. What we've got is we've got a font face, which is just our typography. We've got some animations that when we refresh the page, we'll see these kind of fade in. And then the basic stuff like CSS variables for the color scheme and then all the kind of layout. Now, if you've used media queries before, the main one you would have heard of is around breakpoints. When we get smaller and wider, we can see our layout change. And here what we've got is a layout which has a three column layout. And we can see that here, one, two, three. One, two, three. So let's have a look at some of the CSS media queries that you might not have heard of. So the first one we're gonna cover is uh, down here, prefers color scheme dark. So here, if I go to my website, I can easily change the appearance from light to dark. And because I'm using CSS variables, we can change this very, very quickly. If you're curious about more, I've done a video in the past about this, which I'll link to now. What we can also do is if we see further down, we've got another media query in here. And this is more to do if the if our user has uh, visual disabilities, we might want more contrast here. So if I turn the contrast to be higher, I can go in a Mac to accessibility and I can go to display and I can turn on increase contrast. And what this will do is this will make our contrast a lot sharper. We can see the difference between this and this. Now, again, this will also work because I've set it up with CSS variables that if we're also on dark mode, this will also do the same thing. I've got my header and um, background color there just changing over very easily. So again, what we can do is just quickly add this accessibility level to this, just using this contrast adjustment here. The next one we can use is all around motion. So if our user doesn't want to see motion for whatever reason, such as epilepsy reasons, for instance, we can do this prefers reduced motion and we can reduce it. And what we can do here is just turn off the animations. So I can turn off the contrast and I've also got this reduced motion in here. So now if we refresh the page, our animations don't play. So our user says, I really wanna see animations for whatever reason, we can reduce the motion. If we turn it off, we'll get this animation effect. If we turn it and say reduce the motion, our CSS will listen and it will not show those animations in here. So here we've got prefers reduced motion. The next one is all around hover states. Now again, because I've got a mouse here, this doesn't really work, but we can see on our site, if I hover over these areas, these bits appear in here as well. So if I'm on something like a phone, something like this, you can see on my phone, we have these, where is it going? We can see that by default, the descriptions appear. So here, what I've done is say, display them. If there's no hover effect allowed, then we can see the actual thing in here as well. The next one that we're using is all around aspect ratio. So again, this is slightly different than what we have with our default ones that we would usually use like max width and max height. Here, we've got an aspect ratio. So here, what we can say is a minimum aspect ratio of two to one. If it's a long wide thing like this, we wanna see four columns. So one, two, three, four. And what we can say is a max aspect ratio. So if this is taller, then we just want two. So here we can say if this is two, there we go. So this isn't really listening to a width, but instead the aspect ratio of this. So what we've just covered very quickly is five different media queries that do different things. We've got ones which talk about the color scheme, the contrast, reducing the motion, if there's a hover effect on here, and what is the aspect ratio of the page as well. So again, this was a quick video all about media queries. And if there's any topic you'd like me to cover, just like this one, this was recommended by Yousef. Please put it in the comments down below. Give the video a like, and there should be two videos up here that you can watch as well. And I'll see you in another video very soon.